Welcome to ELD Device Driver Training. We have the PCT, is what they're calling out, PeopleNet Connected Tablet. This is a day in the life, rest breaks and exceptions. Um, there are automatic duty status changes. For driving, when you are ready to begin driving, the device will automatically throw you into the driving status once moving five miles per hour or faster. On duty, not driving. Once you are completely stopped for five minutes, the device will move the driver into an on duty, not driving status that is time stamped when the vehicle stopped moving. Yard moves. When selecting a yard move, which is an on-duty status, you will be able to move at a customer but must keep your truck under 20 miles per hour. Remember to change to a rest break when done moving at a customer or it will automatically log you into on-duty, not driving status after five minutes. Once you leave the customer and go over 20 miles per hour, it will automatically switch you to the drive line. It will also pop up as a yard move to enter, we want you to enter the customer location that you're at for the yard move. So from this screen, we're gonna change our status and we're gonna show how to log a yard move. So you would click on status, go to on duty yard move. Um, from here, your log's gonna be stamped with your location. So you would just wanna put in what customer you're at. So here I will just put in Coles, act like we're in Finley, Ohio and submit. That's all you have to do for a yard move, and you can see over here, current status, your on-duty yard move. Um, and then I'm also going to show you how to log a PC. So let's say you're done moving around at the yard, you picked up your bills, and you're going to PC to a truck stop. From here, you'd want to go to status, you want to do off-duty personal conveyance, and then you want to annotate what you're PCing for. So we're going to say PC to truck. Stop and submit. And it's automatically, once I'm changing, changing to a PC move, it's already pulling up a DVIR. So it pulls up the truck and trailer that I already had in the system and you're still just gonna confirm that there's no defects. Highlight the trailer, no defects, finished. And then you're good and you see you're an off-duty PC move. Manual duty status changes at any time while stopped, a driver can change their duty status from the eDriver log menu by selecting the status icon. Please note that the only way a driver can go off duty at the device without logging out is to go into rest break status. There is no longer an option for choosing on duty driving, it's just you get in the truck, you drive away, once you go over five miles per hour, it will just put you into the driving status move. Also on the yard move status, just make sure that you do keep that under 20 miles per hour. I'm um, in the top right of your screen for when you're ready to take your 30 minute break or if you're ever ready, you just wanna go on an off duty status for like maybe you're a shipper and after you're in a yard, yard move, you just click on the rest break. You wanna confirm it and click okay. And you see here, so on the left, the current status that's showing Bob Butters is off duty at 119 at 338. He's gonna gain time at 4.08 p.m. I would highly recommend you wait till at least 31 minutes before driving away. When you're done with that 30 minute break, you can click the stop break or you can just go ahead and drive away and it will switch you to that on, on that driving status move. When you push the stop brake, it's going to give you this pop-up box for the choose status. So at that point, you're going to choose what status you want to do right now, which this one's showing on driver. All right, from the home screen, if you go to eDriver logs, um, did want to show you one more thing. This little button, it's the circle with the triangle in it. If you click that, it's actually going to give you a breakdown of driving hours that you've done for the day. So work shift driving still says that this driver has 11 hours still to drive today. Um, the work shift rest break is basically seven hours, 40 minutes. Work shift duty is that you have six hours, 21 minutes before you have to take that 30 minute break. And then the cycle duty is gonna be the countdown off your 70 hours for the week. So that's just a little update there. And if to close that, you just click on that. Um, best practices for rest breaks and exceptions. Drivers do need to pay close attention to their gain time at. Our current policy is that drivers are not allowed to take an exception on their ELDs.
It is our policy to dispatch and operate in compliance with the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Regulations regarding the hours of service limits on the 78, 11, and 14-hour rules.